Okay, you know, I think this is a good time for us to just kind of clear some negative energy. Let's go ahead and do a really quick energy healing on you guys. If you are feeling anxiety, if you are feeling fear, I want you to just take a moment and really take in this sage. So I want you to take three deep breaths. Take a deep breath in and release. I'm going to clear this energy, clear Clear the negativity, clear the anxiety, clear the fear. Take another deep breath in and release. And one more breath in and release. All right. I'm going to do one little prayer for us. So... Angels of the Highest Love and Light, Archangel Michael, Raphael, any other angelic beings, any other beings of the Highest Love and Light that want to come forward to help clear away this energy of fear, to help relieve us of this anxiety, please do so now. Okay, I'm seeing Michael cutting a lot of energetic cords on you guys. They have been pulling at your energy. I'm seeing Raphael wrapping his wings around a lot of you that are in this anxiety and fear and desperation energy. It's like his wings are absorbing this energy out of you. And Michael with his sword is cutting away these energetic cords that are depleting your energy and removing your power. Okay, so I want you guys to take a deep breath in. And release. Thank you, angels. Thank you for that healing. Thank you for that release. Okay, so you guys should be feeling a little bit better. All right, I want to get into the channeled message, so I'm just going to read it and wrap it up at the end. You are all going through an initiation of mastery to strengthen your will, regain your power, and find your voice to speak up against that which is not sovereign. Humanity has allowed corruption to take place on this planet for eons through blind agreeance and absence of awareness to their divine power. More people are awakening to this awareness and beginning to see beyond the veil of illusions that have manipulated their perceptions through hypnotic programming. This manipulation has caused many to stay in fear and other lower vibrational energies by creating an illusion of self-imprisonment that one cannot be freed from poverty, corruption, and despair. This has all happened before. You are living in times that are energetically similar to Lemuria and Atlantis when leaders abuse their power for personal gain resulting in devastation to the masses. Many of you had lifetimes during Lemuria and Atlantis and are awakening to this knowledge and remembrance of your past incarnations. As more awaken to this knowledge, the world stage will appear more chaotic. As above, so below. As within, so without. For many, the anxiety and fear surfacing is being triggered by these memories of chaos that ensued from the fall of Lemuria and Atlantis. Many of you are subconsciously fearing a repeat of that history. The planet is going through a massive purge of the old corrupt ways and restructuring of anew. Renovation takes time and has many phases, but once it's complete, it will all be worth it. We hear your prayers and ask that you fear not as we are sending you love and light energies and are holding you through these tumultuous times. This is a painful lesson that humanity is walking through and one they must complete. You are all learning the valuable lesson to not give away your power as you continue to awaken to deeper truths about the corruption that has been hidden on your planet. With great change comes great challenges. It is very important that you stay strong and continue to persevere at this time. The awakening process isn't free of its challenges and will take some time as you all shift into a higher vibrational consciousness each and every one of your bodies are going through an energetic upgrade and recalibration. 
You may be noticing discomfort and abnormal symptoms in your body. This is all a part of the process. This recalibration is restructuring your inner world, which can feel chaotic at times as you continue to purge denser energies and make room for more love light energies to enter. What you believe, think, speak, and feel becomes your reality. This planet was designed as a mirror to reflect your inner world back to you through your five senses, allowing you to understand the vibration and frequency you're projecting outside of yourself. This mirroring is a check and balance system to help you realize when you're not in spiritual alignment. True alignment will generate feelings of peace, love, and harmony within. We commend each and every one of you who are standing up for humanity and sharing hope, peace, and love at this time. It is important to offer a helping hand to your brothers and sisters. Negativity is like a virus that spreads quickly, and many have fallen victim to fear and desperation. You are the creators of your reality, and you all hold the key to changing the world through your thoughts, words, emotions, and beliefs. When the majority of humanity starts visualizing, thinking, speaking, feeling, and believing in the reality that your world is moving into a time of peace, so it will be. So that was what I channeled from spirit, you guys. And I felt, even though some would look at that as like, oh gosh, you know, it's kind of like unknown, like where are we headed, like this that, and the other. The energy that came through me when I was channeling that was just like such a calm, such a peaceful energy. And we really have to stay strong in our power. We really have to visualize. We really have to encourage each other to really be careful about how we speak because words are power. They're like spells. So what you speak really gets put out into the cosmos and gets created. Same thing with how you feel. So if you're projecting that energy out, you're helping create the world we live in. So we all have to kind of realize the power we have and step back into our power and really get into our mastery and be like, okay, I realize I'm dipping in this way. Let me speak about positive things. Let me visualize positive things. Let me, you know, share positive words and messages of hope rather than the opposite. So when you come across somebody who's a little bit diving deep into the fear and you're maybe feeling a little bit more energetically positive, offering words of hope and saying things in a different way, kind of like how I shared here, is going to raise their vibration and help them a lot. And that's what we're being asked to do. If you are in a place of feeling a little bit more upbeat and somebody else is dipping, we're supposed to reach down and pull each other up. It's all about helping our fellow brother and sister at this time. We are coming back into unity consciousness. It's like all these things are happening around the world to bring us back together because we have, through time, separated. And I just got the chills, which means that there's really big truth in that. So I want to leave you guys with one final card. Or I should just say, I'm going to pull a card to see what spirit has message-wise. So... I'm going to ask Metatron to come through. Metatron, what final message do you have for humanity at this time? All right, I got two of them, so I'm going to go ahead and use both of those. So we've got create, draw, doodle, write, build, tinker, putter, make something inspiring. Stay in touch with your spirit. Be the magic. I am inspired to keep creating. And then we have innovate. Do something big you've never done before to create big change in your life. What's the boldest thing you can do? Take a chance. I take big chances to make big changes. All right, guys, I hope that helped. I feel really positive. I feel that we are moving into a new era very quickly on this planet. It is still going to take time and it's going to take a lot of work. Each and every one of us play a huge part. So just remember that. I send you lots of love and light. It's going to be okay. Keep remembering that. Come back to this video if you need a little bit of a boost. Watch some other videos that are uplifting. Watch 
you know, TV shows that are uplifting, podcasts, music, whatever you can do to bring you up when you're starting to dip. Okay, that's really important. If this resonated with you, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.